imitating a gay porn star. Sadly, I'm imitating what is considered by many of you idiots <laughs> online to be one of the top talents in WWE today, Dolph Ziggler. Yes. He sucks. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, all the smarks out there. He sucks. We're going to talk ah. about, we're here to talk about why WWE sucks today. And <laughs> the, the main reason why is gay wrestlers, one of them being Dolph Ziggler. Why and before you flame us, we don't mean gay as in a homosexual negative term. We mean gay as in you're stupid. Like the Black Jones scene and Darren Young. But uh, no, like why is why is Dolph Ziggler popular? I don't know. Oh, he's he's a guy smart. With, what's his character? He has no character. I'm just chilling. This, this is a guy that supposedly they're trying to build as like the future. Well, they're failing at that. I don't. I can't take someone seriously who wears pink <laughs> trunks, <laughs> has spaghetti hair. <laughs> His character is that he's a show-off, <laughs> and all he sense. does is come out and go, I'm here to show the world! Ah! And whenever he takes a bump, he's like, ah! <laughs> it's not even when he takes a bump. He'll do like a kick. Ah! 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 It's like, what is he doing? He's terrible. And I can't, I can't, his, what's that move called? <laughs> this, this, is it the zigzag? The zigzag. <laughs> he just like spazzes in midair. I can't tell what the move is. He's and, like, oh, Ziggler, he's going for it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> every time he tries to do the famous turn, he jumps over the he botches okay, every we're time. We're going way off track. We're just ranting about Dolph right, Ziggler. So that was not the purpose of this video. Cody Rhodes is another one. Your favorite. I know you love Cody. Oh. Model. How is he a wrestler? He's the only guy who the smarts love and he's like, oh, he's got a great drop kick, so he should be world champion. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. What is that with I, feel, I don't know if any of you read wrestlingforum.com. You, you can rip your hair out going on there. <laughs> but some of the things that are said about Cody Rhodes, there's this one guy, Rhodes for World Heavyweight Champion. That's if you're his, watching, fuck you, by the way. <laughs> that's his username, so he gets a big heart on watching Cody Rhodes do nothing in the ring. Oh, I, I like Cody Rhodes better when he didn't wear knee pads. I like they're the like, leg. Oh. Why are they pushing other talent? This guy is the future. <laughs> I was like, no, he's not. He's terrible. <laughs> All he does is that stupid thing where he's on the road. The disaster kick. kick. He sucks. He does the Alabama slam. He botches he's that. He's terrible. Out. So out there. Why is Cody Rhodes good? That's what I, if, if somebody can answer that question, I will give you He can't even nothing. talk. He's, he's <laughs> almost like he's like, D no one came out here you talk to Dead Coulter. You're terrible. Why does everyone have a lisp nowadays? But again, we're going off topic. Who else is gay? Who else is gay? Who else is gay? Well, I didn't write anyone down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, so we're gonna. Well, the whole point of this video is we were gonna make a list of things that are the main reason as to why this is fucking. And gay happened. wrestlers is pretty much like who? Who's gonna get behind Dolph Ziggler? Ah, I'm here to show the way. Everyone's Come Daniel Bryan's another one. This is controversial. Oh. I know you smarts like to jerk off to Daniel Bryan, but he sucks. Like he's a great, he's a great technical wrestler. No, he's, he's not. He, the, I, anyone can do it. He now jumps wait, before, in. He jumps into people. That's all he does. He Irish whipped to the corner, he jumps into them, and he fly, fly and go, Michael! Oh, Michael, will fly and go, Michael! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's, maybe he was cool in Ring of Honor when he actually had a serious gimmick. I can't take someone who's fatter than me, who just goes, ah! Ah, that's his gimmick. Yes. He goes like this. Yeah, it treats the He looks like, like a child. He's like a childish Teletubby character. I can't he's another goofball. He was a guy who, as a heel, it worked because you need that obnoxious thing. But what is this character now? He comes out and he says yes. And Team Hell No just ruined all credibility. Oh. And I don't understand why he's like, why is he a good wrestler? He, I don't know. He's you know, like, oh, he's just like, I'm not defending Chris Benoit, but you can't compare him to Daniel Bryan. I'm sorry. Just because they jump off the top rope and land on their head doesn't mean that they're great wrestlers. All right, another, another thing that's totally wrong with WWE, ugly divas. <laughs> oh, they're hideous. You got yeah, Maddie yeah, Nag Fart, you got Tamina Snuka, <laughs> the Bella Twins with their post-op tranny faces. <laughs> the only reason they're in the company is because they're Cena John Cena's they got I don't fired. care that one of them is with Daniel Bryan. They're both seen as bitches. They got fired. John Cena goes back and goes, Vince, Vince, I want the hoes back, Vince. You can't see me. <laughs> Vince, Nick and Bella don't got a titties done for me. <laughs> Put it back in company. You got Caitlyn with her fucked up mouth. Oh. Like, <laughs> who else is ugly? AJ. She looks like she's twelve. AJ, AJ's like an anorexic twelve-year-old. She's falling off the apron, collapsing at house yeah, shows because she can't. She hasn't eaten in years. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, 
laughter because he's out of her. She's only there because she CM Punk uses her. You got Alicia Fox, like pick a hair color, bitch. She got red, <laughs> she's got blonde, you got Rosa Mendez. <laughs> oh, yeah, getting, her blonde hair. getting drunk with Michael Hayes That's now. Great. <laughs> the commentary. Oh. oh my god. Attitude era commentary was fantastic with JR and Heel King. I don't know what happened to Michael Cole. Michael Cole He's on SmackDown with Taz, it was great. Ugh. Like, do, do some coal. Well, you watch coal. Like, the the, the right. gay coal. Oh, all right. The Usos and stuff. So you got a match. The Usos the are Usos. other gay wrestlers, by the way. <laughs> well, I can't stand either. <laughs> With their bathing suits. Good about they Good about they Good about they Good. Good, good, good. But, uh, so Michael Cole and his Usos, instead of selling, I mean, when you're, when you got two boring wrestlers, oh you should try to sell them. Like JR would be like, oh, the Usos are tougher than a $2 steak. But Michael Cole, First of all, he can't tell them apart, so he goes, Usos in the ring, of course. <laughs> There's Jimmy and Jay. I believe that's Jay Uso. I think that's Jay Uso. Oh, Michael, we gotta fly to Uso. Oh, Michael, fly to Uso. Oh, 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 I love it, Michael. Jerry the King Lawler, who's turning orange for some reason. <laughs> he's he so fat. Like he's gonna he should have retired after the heart attack. I'm sorry. Oh, man, I like those Usos, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Taz. If you want to hear the ultimate, like, like, we, like, how the commentary's gotten so terrible. Watch the clip from, like, what was that, 2002, when Goldberg came to Raw. And listen to... 2003. 2003. Listen to JR and uh, King. Oh, yeah! Oh, my God! It's Goldberg! Oh, and, then, and then watch when Brock Lesnar came back after WrestleMania. Oh, my! Just compare those two, and you'll understand why the commentary sucks. And, like, one of the one of the things... I don't know what to think of it. JBL nowadays... I don't know what happened to him. When he came back, I was like, oh, he was good back in the day. This should be good. And all he does now is just... He has a stupid drum liner. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Fandango! Oh, the Fandango! Fandango, 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 Fandango! Oh, my God. Oh, and now you know, there's no heel announcer. They're all no. just rooting for John Cena. And in the middle of a match, it's like the Shield versus the Usos for the 10 millionth time. They'll just talk about John Cena. And then, Rand, like, if Reigns will do a spear, instead of actually selling it, Cole will just go, Reigns! <laughs> oh, he, he caught him! He caught him! And fucking Cena! He's got the STF! He's got a tap! Say that! Oh my god, Michael! Whenever, that? whenever Kofi Kingston, 10-10 man, as we call him, because he comes out at 10-10 every night and gets squashed, but... Boom! 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 There's another gay wrestler, but he has a purpose. He's a great jobber. <laughs> I know you smarts love Cody. Oh, uh, he should get a push! But no, Kofi sucks, but... <laughs> every time he does that crossbody, Cole says the same thing. Oh! Crossbody! Lyle will press! He's got him! No. Co Kofi Kingston's never gonna win a match again. But yeah, the commentary <laughs> sucks. Alright, the themes. The wrestler's themes. Oh my god. I can't take, but someone like, first of all, I already explained to you why I can't stand Dolph Ziggler. Anybody with spaghetti hair who shakes his ass <laughs> is not gonna get over, I'm sorry. <laughs> but his theme music is terrible. <laughs> it sounds like something from like a lifeguard drama. <laughs> I'm here to show the world! Come on! Bring it up! <laughs> like, old wrestler's themes will get you pumped. It's like, you know. Or Cody Rhodes. Oh! Smoking mirrors! Oh! His new theme with gold dust. Holy oh, smoking mirror! <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it's so terrible. Oh. It doesn't get you pumped. Like Undertaker's Attitude Era theme, you hear that and you go, damn! Stone Cold's theme. That's iconic. Like, who's who, John Cena's theme? I'll brush your mouth with cold gate. I'll lay your ass down for the three second tag. Oh my god, you PG son of a bitch. <laughs> you can't see it. Can't see it. Got my fake marine. Got <laughs> fake marine. Oh, no. Can't see me. Oh my god, the wrestler's themes. John Cena is a topic in and of itself. <laughs> he is. He has killed wrestling. Oh, I can't take it. He has just killed wrestling since he won the belt of JBL WrestleMania 21. Wrestling's just gone downhill. Okay, his promos are all the same thing. He has two promos. One of them <laughs> is this silly promo where he's like, Well, guess I'm going to have to kick your ass right here, right now. <laughs> and then his other promo is the long, dramatic build-up was, I've had to claw, and I've had to fight, and worry about winning the top, and I'm dead proud of where I am, and I'm dead proud of who I've become. The champ is <laughs> All of his fucking promos are like that. They suck. And he's, he's just a goofball. He makes that goofball face. It's got, up. Like, I understand when you have a top face, they should be booked well. But it's just gotten ridiculous with Cena at this he's point. He's never been a face. He's marketed that way. But everyone hates him. He, like, you blow him up with dynamite and he gets back up. He's a Superman. He's just a big goofball. Everyone hates him. He 
comes out, he makes that face like, oh, I love it, he didn't feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel like I gained a few pounds. I gained a few pounds. I want a heel turn and fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Can't see me. I mean, like, can't see me. I got my head up. Say what you want about Hogan, but he turned heel and it was awesome. Yo, Hulk Hogan, you know, he, oh my God. You can't even compare it. People are like, well, Hulk Hogan was for children too. Yeah, but Hulk Hogan was a character. What's John Cena's character? He wears purple. That's his fucking I'm character. I'm a sell-off fake Marie. I'm a sell-off fake Marie. Got my tan shorts on, Sination. <laughs> my jorts. You can't see me. Got my head shoved up in a man's ass. I've been kissing it too much, Sination. God. Where my bellas at? Figure they all the hot I'll suck them. John Cena. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. What the hell happened to him? Uh, G-rated garbage. Like Santino, perfect example. Hey, send him again, man! With the stupid fucking thing with the horns on it, with the the matadors. Oh God, the matadors! Oh, 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 don't get me. I sorry. was kind of like, oh, this could be good. It's like an actual wrestling gimmick. Guys with a gimmick? Oh my God! Because there, there's no gimmicks anymore. It's just guys with coming out in vests. <laughs> That's it. And with entrance attire, some stupid Cody Rhodes again. He comes out with that stupid vest. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> So the, the matadors are coming. I was like, all right, it's it's an actual, it's like it's old school. So they come out, they're doing their matador thing. They got the trumpet music playing. I'm like, all right, this can work. They can be like a nice mid card tag team. <laughs> no. Nope. And then all of a sudden, they're doing the thing, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, because I, I knew I knew it was gonna happen. I knew a midget was gonna come out, and I was just praying, like, please God, please. <laughs> Don't ruin this. I know it's just Primo and Epico wearing masks and pretending to have characters, <laughs> but. Give it a chance. No, no. El Torito comes out. Oh, it's a little bow, Michael. Michael. Oh. Mark, mind you, this is the same JBL that hated Finley's little bastard back in the day. Yeah. Now all of a sudden he loves the man. Oh, I love it, Michael. Oh, oh, El Torito. Oh, man. El Torito's having a fun time. Fuck, maybe he can take little Jimmy to the prom test. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt no, about, no it. Doubt about it, Cole. <laughs> so, okay, okay. did you have the PG up and then their theme, that stupid hip hop music, <laughs> the classic <laughs> jobber theme? He, like, combined Matador music with, like, you hip it up. Just G-rated garbage. And then, what is with that stupid stable with Kali with the third <laughs> nipple on his thing and an Italian knife fart and then you got horn swaggle coming out. What is that? They've never won a match together. They never explained how... It's like the oddities but less character. It's terrible. Uh, it's just for the children. You got the Funkadactyls with sweet tea. They're sweet tea. They're stripper whores. How PG is that? Have stripper whores rubbing their asses and they're <laughs> ugly. All you people, Cameron, Cameron's beautiful. But you wouldn't know what to do with an ass like Naomi. Great, yeah, Naomi's finisher is that she hits people in the face with her giant ass. What a great move. It's just Pete and they come out and they bring the children in to dance with them. How are adults supposed to get behind that? Big, Biggie Langston has breasts. Biggie Langston's tits are one of the good things about the comedy. <laughs> when he wore those shirts unbuttoned and his tits were flopping around, it was great. And then they had to ruin him by giving him that G-string attire. Oh, God. Down. I, was like, I, think I, I could have watched. I think a testicle popped out. <laughs> that was so one. disgusting. Like, how PG is that? You got Ryback's nipples slipping out. You got his, you got his junk hanging out. That's not <laughs> PG. But the G-rated stuff on Raw is it's just, just, it's just, are just terrible. Like, they did that stupid... Long Island hardcore match. Oh my god. You hear hardcore match, you start to get. And pumped. Damien Sandow, who has absolutely no character anymore, he used to be like a philosopher. He doesn't wear the he, robe. He anymore. just wears a t shirt. So, what is his character? And he's fat, too. Well, what's Kofi's cat? Kofi used to be Jamaican, and then one day he forgets to put his accent on. So now he's just an African guy <laughs> who comes out to Reggae and using. <laughs> Who else is G-rated? Sheamus. Ugh. He's gonna come back and he's gonna win the world. He's the Irish Cena hooligan. Fella. Boy, fella! Brother! Like, I'm not, how many finishers does this asshole have? And none of them are good. No. The Irish curse about having a tiny penis? How, <laughs> what is this? Uh, Who? What about Paul Heyman? They kind of ruined him, too. God, Paul Heyman. When he Paul, came back, I was like... I was pumped. I was like, all right, this is going to be good. No, they, all Paul Heyman did was he told... Because he held CM Punk's belt for him. All Paul Heyman did, his job was to tell the audience what was happening. That was it. His promos are like... Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. And he would just tell you what happened. And I am here representing Brock Lesnar. And then he just goes, so oh, last week on Raw, this happened with Brock Lesnar, blah, blah, blah. And it's the same thing with King. Hey, there's the walrus, sir. Oh, the walrus, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Cares. <laughs> so fucking A. And then uh, Paul Heyman, they turned him into like a Saturday morning kid show film. I was like, oh, Punk, you beat me again. Get a candlestick. And then Punk, his promos, what happened? Uh -huh. 
He I'm was sick, making I'm sick of CM Punk, Punk with his Wolverine beard. <laughs> like he was Wolverine. making great promos every week, and then they buried him for. I don't know how much of that is his fault. Sure. I don't know, but his promos like Paul, I'm not just gonna hurt you. I'm gonna break your face. Like oh, who cares? It's like no, you're not. Curtis Axel with his developed breasts. Yes. <laughs> Stop you. Absolutely. Every wrestler's fat now. Yeah, it's just, really. They need to start taking roids again because <laughs> they're all. F- Fat. I can't. They're either fat or they're midgets like Punk and Ziggler. Like, oh, don't make fun of Ziggler. He has the perfect drop kick. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> like, and then Ziggler has the nerve to bitch backstage as to why he's not getting pushed. No, you're not. You're not getting pushed. You're not getting pushed because you no get one. no reaction when you go. We want Ziggler. Like two fans cheering that. Everyone's fat. The Usos are fat. Curtis Axel's flappy. Heath Slater's got tits. Yeah, I think that's because he's a retard. He had no idea how to take the steroids. Oh my! Oh, they go here. Love one by my my my. He's not like the game. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I know how to cycle and stack, baby. Hey, hey, let me tell you something right here. That's another thing that's terrible. The authority. <laughs> the uh-huh. authority. People are like, smarts. You idiot smarts. Like, it's the next corporation, guys. No. It's the cor- no, the corporation had characters. You had Big Boss Man, Kane. Real wrestlers. Who's in this? You got Representative Jacobs, Citizen, Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. You got fucking Stephanie McMahon with her pantsuits and her fat kids. <laughs> she sounds like a post up trainer. She's like, my man, Triple H. You sound like a man. Uh, I am the king. I'm the king. None of you are the king. I am the king. T- I'm the king. Let me tell you something. My friend Draws sits in a wheelchair <laughs> because he loves this business. I know what's best for business. No, you don't, big guy. Oh my god. Everything is just. The order some positive. Let's end on a positive. All right. Order some the good. The Shield. Things. The Shield. And Roman Reigns. The Shield are great. Everyone in the Shield is good. They can all talk. Seth Rollins. They don't look like. <laughs> they don't look like models. They look like they could actually put their ass. They look like real men. And they all have cool finishers. You know, Rollins has got the flying knee and that turnbuckle move that he does where he slams the guy's face. Reigns' spear is awesome. That is great. I'm glad that they're pushing him. Cesaro. Cesaro. And I like Jack Swagger, too. Just the real Americans in general are great. They can both... They look... They, they can actually... They're actually strong. They're like rising. Zeb Coulter is a comedy gimmick that doesn't make me feel like I'm watching, like... <laughs> A Nick Jr. show. It's actually funny. <laughs> Cause I, I mean, he did that twerking thing. Like that, that, would, that would have upset me if it was anyone else, but it worked because it was Zeb Coulter. And Cesaro is just great. And Ces- fuck Vince McMahon for thinking he's boring. Right. He's boring. He's not, he's, you know why? Because Cesaro probably refused to suck his cock backstage. That's probably why he didn't get pushed and still hasn't been pushed. But, uh, yeah. Smarks like his nipples, though, I heard. The Smarks like Cesaro's nipples. I'm not, they I'm not gay like a Smark. <laughs> That's gotta be why they like Cody Rose. Oh, I liked his attire better when he didn't wear the knee pads, because I like seeing his legs well, better. You know, his sexy legs. Cody Rose is terrible. What happened to Ted DiBiase? I don't know, they fight. He he didn't, future Endeavor? He didn't look gay enough, so they fired him. But, like, you know the product yeah. sucks when the biggest pops in Survivor Series are Johnny Ace <laughs> and Summer Rae. John Laurinaitis makes a two-second cameo and gets a louder pop than the goddamn World Heavyweight Champion. That's pathetic. Who's the... Oh, it's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Hello, John. It's Randy Orton. Oh, I'm saying... Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Wait, no, what else is the positive? You got Big Show still Very hanging around. Big Show's boring, but I, boring. I, just, I just like seeing him. No, I don't like seeing him anymore. Go away. You're boring. Well, like, mid-card, at least. Biggie Langston's okay. Yeah, he's he's right. funny. I like his... I like... I, you know, I just think it's funny that he has those giant flappy tits. It's a throwback. His wrestlers aren't big anymore. Yeah. Everyone's a midget. And all you stupid smarts, like, when are they going to start pushing little guys? They've been doing that, and the ratings yeah. have just been going down. I look, I don't have a problem with little guys. You know, Eddie Guerrero was little, but he didn't look like a pussy. The thing is, like, seeing, di- like, I was behind Brian for a while, but then... Oh, well, they just screwed that. Well, we'll make another video about how they screwed that storyline. But, like, when you see him in the ring with real wrestlers, you oh, my God, it looks ridiculous. He's this big. I'm bigger than Daniel Bryan. It's I can not really the height. I don't, I don't mind. You can't begrudge someone for the small. It's the fact that he looks like a slob. But they need... Like, if you want to push little guys, why'd they get rid of the cruiserweight division? So they're just perfect. Them. Put the cruiserweight division back, and then all the smarks can jerk off to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Rey Mysterio. Oh, I am my fans. I know my fans that say I don't do math, CR. <laughs> I promise I won't get hurt again, so you I'm gonna wear a shirt now because I got tits. God, he got so fat. Yeah, no, he, he needs, needs to go away. Right now, so, what do you think? Should we wrap this up? 
I think it's just going on. Yeah, I'll leave it to you to end it. All right, so um, yeah, if you followed this at all, because we kind of got carried away. We ranted. Places, that, this is pretty much, in a nutshell, what's wrong with wrestling. Let's just go over the topics again. Gay wrestlers, ugly divas, shitty themes, the horrible commentary, G-rated garbage, and Joan Cena. Maybe they ought to hot us suck. You can't see me. Oh, flying goat, Michael. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael, the flying goat, Michael. All right, goodbye, smarties.